I'm just gonna be straight. Who do you think stole the flint and steel? Well, it wasn't me, if you're curious. If I had an enchanted flint and steel, I'd be off exploring some other world with it. Between you and me, though, I think Dan's whole story about it being stolen from him is a load of trash. I bet he's still got it. Thanks for your time, Lizzie. That's all for now. Oh, come on! This is nuts! You had a button, too! Fair's fair. It's your buddy's turn next. Hey, Jesse. Ah, my final suspect. Here to point more fingers and blame more people, I'm sure. I didn't push the button, you know. I figured. Thanks, though. How's it been going in here? It is just non-stop whispering and rumors out there. Me, Petra, and Ivor pretty much been sticking to ourselves. It's been rough. These people have so much drama going on, it's hard to tell what's about the flint and steel and what's about the white pumpkin. Well, I know you can do it. <laughs> Thanks, Lucas. Come on, suspect. It's time to return to the others. So? Have you decided? Yes. Who do you think the White Pumpkin really is? Now, hang on, hang on, everyone. First of all, I want to thank everyone for answering my questions. There's still not 100% proof of anyone, but... But... Yes. Where are your suspicions, Lady Jessie? Jesse was definitely questioning Stampy the longest. What? No! Dan was in there way longer. Hey, not cool. Guys, guys, come on. I actually don't think there's evidence enough to accuse anyone yet. What? Yeah, that seems surprising. I'm sorry, but I don't want to accuse anyone unless I'm 100% sure. And I'm not. Wow. Way to take a bold stance, Jesse. Well, I, for one, am not comfortable being surrounded by possible killers. So if you'll excuse me, I'm going to barricade myself in the library for my own safety. Fine, suit yourself. Yeah, I'm more in the safety and numbers camp myself. <laughs> well, that was certainly some excitement. Yeah, no kidding. If the White Pumpkin is still roaming around, though, he might be trying to set up more traps. We need to figure out how these things work. Like, we know that the Sparkles trap was triggered by those buttons under the table, but what about the trap that turned Torque Dog into a pincushion? If we figure out how these things work, we might be able to find more proof about who the White Pumpkin is, how they're operating. It must have been triggered from nearby, just like the table buttons. Sounds like we need to investigate near the trap then. You guys go on ahead. I'm gonna stay here, keep an eye on these other people. I don't want them trying anything when we're not looking. Thanks, Lucas. Back in the kitchen. So, what are we looking for exactly? The buttons like back in the dining room? Conspicuous white pumpkins lying around? There are too many loose ends flying around. A lot of evidence that doesn't add up. We need to find some definitive concrete evidence. Got it. I'm on the lookout. These ovens have been busy since we got here. Who needs that much food? Does this painting have eye holes? Oh, yeah. How did I not notice that before? Seems worth taking a closer inspection. Make sure you're nowhere near that arrow trap. More of those potion-covered arrows. Nasty. Well, seems like we found out how the White Pumpkin killed Torque Dog. Yeah, and how he's getting around the house. I assume we're investigating the creepy passageway? I think we've come too far to turn around now. Well... After you, then. I hope Dan's okay locked up in the library. 
We could have put them in even bigger danger. What if there are more traps in there? Well, even if it isn't the right person, at least he's safe. I guess that makes sense. Sort of? What do you think that is? No idea. But look! A lever! The amount of redstone wiring that must be hidden in this place. Amazing! Ivor, no! What do you think I am? Gents! I was just looking at it! Oh, good. Thanks for the vote of confidence, though. See anything that this lever might be connected to? What do you see? It's the library! I see Dan locked up in there. <laughs> 